oh my god an nsf grant like i haven't gotten an nsf grant like you know the <laughs> nsf national science foundation is like the pinnacle it's like the harvard of grants so to speak okay you know? um, wow that's so good i get a lot of like when people find out it's like oh my god you know like <laughs> some of their oh my gods are not oh my god you're a black person who got it it's like oh my god you're young or you're inexperienced or something like that but the point is i got the i had the highest scoring grant that they received that year and it's a blind review they didn't know what race i was they didn't know they didn't know anything about me nice. and they scored it and i don't have that many of those experiences where they didn't know who i was so i know that i didn't get that from affirmative action like that can sort of combat all those other in high school when i got into stanford and dartmouth and university of pennsylvania and other kids in my white kids in my high school that is didn't then it started the, the racial slurs started to flow more in the sense of like oh he only got that because he's black or affirmative action or whatever it didn't and i, I actually also had higher sat scores than them and was involved in more things than them and <laughs> more ap classes than them but they right. chose to i knew that at the time but i think i've carried that sort of baggage with me through every accomplishment i've had Get, especially in academia, getting into school, anything that could be deemed subjective, where in this era, you know, people, some people do want to give people of color a chance. So maybe they gave me the job because they, or <laughs> right. they want to diversify their, their workforce or their office or what I, you know, you can't help but have some of those imposter syndrome doubts because I think yeah. it's a common phenomena of people of color and also maybe even more so women of color, but men of color too. Well, let um, me ask you something. Do yeah. you, given that experience, do you support programs like affirmative action or do you think? I do. At, you know, at, at one point in my life, I had a hard time with affirmative action. You know, in 2003 was sort of when it was like in the Supreme Court and it was around the time I was in graduate school. And as a, a person, I didn't like the idea that people would assume that I got something because that I didn't deserve or quote unquote didn't deserve. My grandfather had this attitude of like, you're not going to get that job because, you know, because you're black, you're going to get it because you are the best candidate and all this stuff. Yeah, and, right. and so I think he sort of like resisted that sort and he had, he never went to college. I don't even know if he graduated high school, but he, be, he worked in a place called Rodney Metals in Massachusetts, but he was like the boss yeah. of all these okay. people, all races, you know, you know, and, and he did not get that because he was black. I, let me tell you, especially in those years, um, mm -hmm. he really was the best and they couldn't deny him the job because he was the best at it, you know? Then I got a lot from him, but I also think in that way, it had me maybe not be as accepting of the idea of affirmative action as a system, as a, as a, as a for everybody in the sense that right. an affirmative action often is, you know, if there's like, you know, a tie or so to speak, like then you give, you can give the shot to a person of color or what my cousin's husband, who's white, just said to me, affirmative action is not even about people of color. It's about white people and their racism. And it's a check on, on all of this historical racism that is, that even though I wasn't alive when a lot of that stuff happened or other white people weren't slave owners themselves or whatever yeah. they want to say, right. we all have that baggage of history and, and ultimately, today, we have to handle those inequities that stem from hundreds of years ago. There's you know, still vestiges of that oh my God, yeah. here today. 